Hey guys, I'm Sovolf and in this video I'm doing a review for Vogue Grace, who I have bought some shaker keychains from. They're custom keychains, as Vogue Grace does all sorts of custom charms, and I've bought from them before and done other review videos as well. Uh, we've got one shout out, it goes to Rock of Fire Explosion Studios, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. These shaker keychains, um, they arrived in a box like this. And inside the box you get this packaging. If you open it up, it's all really well packaged. There is one of these, and this is for putting the oil in the keychains. They don't come with the oil, you have to get your own oil and put it in. Um, you can make your own oil from home, but I chose to buy some oil from Sophie and Toffee, which is another online site. I'll provide the link in the description. And I'll also provide the link to these key keychains as well. Um, so this is what you get, you get five of them. You can choose what size you want as well. Um, you can either have them smaller or a little bit bigger depending. I think I had mine at two inches. Um, they come in these little bags like that. Um, I've already got one out so I'll show you that one. So this is the one that I've got out. As you can see it's got my artwork on it. And I chose to have sparkly stars in mine. It also comes with a thin film on the front and the back that you can peel off to protect it while it's in transit. And on the back, the white label here is what's covering the little hole that you put the oil in. And it also has a thin film on the back as well. And you can choose what keychain you want. I chose to have the star because I've got the stars inside mine. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to put the shaker oil in these because um, it took a while for the shaker oil to come. I think it came from Singapore. Uh, but it's only like, I think it's like five dollars. So it's not very expensive and um, they were quite swift with sending it out. It's just because it was so far away that it took a while to come. So uh, I will put the shaker oil in it now. Um, First of all, I'm going to peel off this protective film from the back of it, like that. Um, when I sent in my order to Vograce, um, they I had to send in um, a Photoshop file, so it, it had the background as the back layer, and this is the front layer, and they were labelled back and front so that people knew what to do. There's the hole. The other thing that these come with, if I can find it, they are around here somewhere. Are they still in with these? I think so, yes there they are. There's these. And the, they actually send you uh, six of them for five keychains and what they are is the little stoppers for the back. So you stick it in and then you cut off the excess which you can probably do with like nail clippers to get it flush to the back of the uh, keyring. And the oil that I got from Sophie and Toffee comes in a little bag like this. Food grade shaker oil. Like I said, you can make your own. I chose to buy because I don't really sort of like, I'm not really averse in things like this. I've not done it before. So, um, open this up. There we go. Seems that, it seems that my oil has leaked in transit, which is not good. Uh, so now I have oil all over my hands. Uh, again, it's not good. Uh, maybe I should get some, I do actually have some, uh, kitchen towel right near me. So I'll just get that. because we'll now need a kitchen towel to wipe it off with. This was not supposed to happen. Let's wipe this off. Obviously they don't normally leak in transit but this one decided to. There we go. Right. It's still a little bit oily. I don't really want to get it all over the keychain. But, uh, so I'll have another piece of this to hand. 
because again it's uh it's, I don't know how on earth it got squished inside the box right there we go so there's our shaker oil now the idea is that um, use this pipette you put it in the shaker oil you squeeze like that it pulls it up into this and then you put it into the back of the keychain and uh, fill it up with oil now Vogue Grace does actually have um, instructions on their site on how to do this I think what I'm going to do so I don't get oil all over the uh, table I'm just going to put it on there like that there we go right so I've opened this up here now this one does actually have a little um, kind of like as you can see a little tip on it but I'm not sure if it's narrow enough to go in the back of the keychain it might be I could just I could just do this so the first thing you do when filling up a shaker keychain is you tap it to make sure all the stars have, have knocked down because if any of them are sort of stuck around the corners they may just stay there um, unfortunately when they put this together you can see the glue has made some of the stars stick around the edges and I've noticed this with all of the keychains that arrived which obviously is, is something that just happens in the creation process I'm thinking once they've been wet for a while maybe they might just drop down by themselves maybe the glue will come away but they have a lot of them have just stuck around the edges it doesn't matter it's quite pretty you know to have a little border of stars but again it's not really what was kind of intended but it's like I said it's not really their fault it's just what happens in the manufacturing process like that hopefully this will now go in there we go okay let's do it this way this is a bit easier so we just squeeze that down that's a lovely sound isn't it unfortunately the shaker oil is too low down now for this thing to reach it tilt it and keep it underneath while it's coming back up I have successfully filled it there we go right so now this is full of shaker oil I've done it and you know what I think I'm going to actually fill several of these keychains so I never have to do this again like I said you get five of them that's the minimum order so it's a fair few so if you get it wrong it doesn't really matter right here we go hooray finally this is going to go everywhere now isn't it I'm very gently squeezing it into the keychain I can see it filling up at the bottom there now you leave a little bit uh, a little air bubble in it so that the bits will float around if you don't leave an air bubble they're not going to float around very much I'm being very careful with this. I'm watching where the watching where the uh, the level of the oil is because otherwise I'll fill it too full. We don't want to do that. This has been fun, hasn't it? Immensely so. Right, so I've left a little bit of a thing in the top. I think I'm just going to leave it slightly less there we go right so we get our little stopper which I should have got out before but I'm so delightfully unorganized that I didn't and we put the stopper in the back of it and they're little rubbery stoppers so you push it in as far as it will go like that
to prevent leakage. Even though the oil has literally gone everywhere, it's all over my hands, it's all over the keychain. There we go. But I'm, this is not Vogros's fault, this is literally me. Um, it's literally that I just tried a new thing today. Right, so there we go, we, we put the stopper in the back of it. Just wipe off the excess oil. And there we have it, the little shaker keychain. It's got its bubbler there in the top. Um, the little stopper thing you can actually see in the top there because it's longer than it needs to be. But I pushed it in as far as it will go, so really it's the back end part of it that, that uh, plugs it up. But you don't really sort of really sort of notice it. And then you do this, and your little stars all float around. And there's a few at the bottom there, and just turn it around here and shake it about. And there. Now the options on the site are for uh, more than one thing in in your shaker keychain, but I found out that you can only have more than one thing if you have a larger keychain. So, um, and they are they are the stars are actually starting to come away from the edges here as well as you can see, which I thought they would once the uh, once the um, oil was in. So. Uh, I did look online to see how to put the shaker oil in, but like I said, I hadn't realised it had broken in transit. And that's nothing to do with Vograce, it's literally the other people. Um, and they probably didn't know it was broken, it probably just got squished while it came to me. And so there you have it, it's a Vograce shaker, shaker keychain. I'll put the link to them in the description, I highly recommend them, because they get the job right, even if I don't. If you want to see other Vograce reviews from me, you can click the boxes that are coming up. Um, you can check out my Etsy New Monday stores for some of my artwork, which of course I used in this uh, design here. Um, or you can uh, buy me a coffee on Kofi if you enjoy my madness. And so that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.